Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. I'm Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are brand new to the channel, welcome. It is wonderful to meet you. And if you are returning to the channel, what's up, how you doing? Welcome back. So, twins in union, imminent union or communication. I just wanna clarify something. You don't have to be communicating with your twin to feel union coming, to be in a state of like, oh, oh shit, this is gonna happen. Um, and I wanna talk to you guys that are feeling that because I've been feeling that lately. Um, I went through a period of maybe like a week ago or maybe it was just the beginning of the week where I really could feel it was coming. Um, like, it, we're, we're getting really close, guys. And it's funny because it's like, I spent so much time and then so put, put forth so much effort to do the work to help facilitate this. And as soon as I felt it, like really, like really felt it start to come, I was like, oh, like, look, hey, look, it's coming. Look, there it is, there it is. But, oh shit, it's coming. <laughs> like, whoa, 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 guys, run, run, run quick, fast, it's coming. You know, that kind of thing. Really? <laughs> But anyway, I mean, that's just that's just a normal reaction. So if you're feeling that way, no, you're not alone. You are definitely not alone. Um, but that you, it is very important that you face those fears. You fa please look at whatever, whatever fears are coming up now that you're aware because you can feel it, that union is on its way, like literally right around the corner um, from an energetic point of view, of course. Um, Face those fears, okay? Because they can turn into blockages, right? They will turn into blockages if you don't face them. And also, there are points that still need to be healed. So please, please do the work, do make the effort to face those fears so that you can clear them away to leave the door wide open for union to come through, okay? Um, I would absolutely recommend, if you guys want to do a little bit of extra credit work, that you watch the video for Twins and Separation. It is an hour and 10 minutes long, I get it. <laughs> but there are a lot of really good messages that came out there um, that were yes for the, the group of people that are, the group of twins that are, are heavily separated, like deep, deep in separation right now. Um, but they are definitely applicable to everybody. So if you're just interested in a little bit of extra credit, I would encourage you guys to watch that video. I think that's all I want to say for now. So let's get into it. Yeah, this is going to be the reading for twins in separation, not no, in union, um, in imminent union, and um, are also in communication. Yeah. So I'm doing a mirror reading, um, and then I'm finishing off with uh, a relationship spread from the animal spirit deck. Okay. So, let's get down to business, shall we? Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the Twin Flame Collective. Specifically, twins in union, twins in separation, and twins that are in imminent, in a state of imminent union. Please bring forward the best messages for these twins at this time. Please give us a clear and accurate representation of the energies of the divine masculine, as represented by the deck on the left, and the divine feminine, as represented by the deck on the right, and how these energies are interacting with each other, both individually and collectively. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, so let's start shuffling here. I'm gonna shuffle Divine Masculine's deck first. Oh, sorry, I'm sitting on my phone. Okay, uh, shuffle the Divine Masculine's deck first, and then we'll do the Divine Feminine. So, Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine. One more for you, Divine Masculine. And then I will cut the deck. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Divine Masculine, your energy is set. Let's now do the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. Oops. Let's try that. We're going to give that two more shuffles, Divine Feminine. <laughs> okay. And one more. Excellent. Now we're going to cut the deck. And we're going to start with you, Divine Feminine. So, your overall energy right now, we're starting off with justice in reverse. Um, hmm. This is interesting. I want to pull more cards before I start talking. Ah, <laughs> the ten of the ten of cups. And you see how this is a, this is depicted as a marriage here. Gosh, I love that. Okay, and the Eight of Wands, and the High Priestess. So, Divine Feminine, I know many of us have gone through situations where we were previously married. A lot of us were. And in those marriages, there was a lot of injustice. And I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be an equal, I'm going to be an equal opportunity here and say that it, it I'm not going to try and sit here and say divine feminines, we were all immaculate in those marriages. No, it's definitely not the case. I'm not trying to say we were at, we did as wrong as say our husbands or wives did, but at the same time, we are, we were no saints when it came to these marriages sometimes. Um, but what's happening right now is clearing up, cleaning all of that up. Okay. Because we have the eight of wands here and in this deck, the eight of wands, um, looks like she's like, it's, it's similar to the, the magician to me, um, in that she looks like she's manifesting something, but also it's like, she's cleansing something. She's clearing the air and something. Uh, eight of wands is also about communication. All right. Um, what I'm picking up here now, this is, it doesn't matter if you're in union with your twin or not, but there is a, um, I f I'm feeling this, this, uh, clearing away of whatever injustices were created or experienced within a previous marriage. Now, if you were not previously married, this is all, this is talking about, um, um, you know, any sort of situation that was supposed to be emotionally fulfilling, ultimately emotionally fulfilling for you, but wasn't, which is represented by the justice in reverse here. Now for some twins, and this is for those of us that are like feeling imminent union, um, you could be moving through the last phases of a divorce. And so justice in reverse, um, could, it could be symbolizing for you how, if you've been in, if you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this, this, uh, this divorce to be finalized, I do feel like there is going to become, there is going to be some communication for you moving forward fairly soon. It may, it may come suddenly, may completely come out of the blue. And um, the high priestess here is also saying to me that this, yes, combined, combined with the eight of wands, because the high priestess is about, uh, can be about secrecy, um, but it could literally come out of the blue. You know, all of a sudden, boop, there's your judgment. Okay. Um, I know I've, I, I, that happened to me. Um, my divorce was finalized back in March and I 
didn't even say I made it a point not to talk to the attorney not to hound the attorney about it I literally it was a way for me to surrender to practice um, surrendering I was I just gave it up to God in the universe I was like all right well y'all will let me know when it's done so I'm gonna go on my way and I did and one day out of nowhere boop, I got the phone call the judge had signed off on the papers and I damn near cried <laughs> but anyway um yeah, so it could it could be like that for you. Um, we also have the high priestess, which is talking about secrecy, but it's also talking about intuition. So and I'm really now. So for those for those twins who are in union, are not in a marriage or anything, um, you know, some of you are working with your, in, your. You could be working with your intuition to to illuminate, uh, communicating with yourself, maybe even your twin. To illuminate injustice surrounding what you what you consider to be ultimate fulfillment with the Ten of Cups, okay. There also, I'm picking up that there could be talk of marriage soon for some of you. Like if you're in eleven eleven, holy moly! <laughs> if so, um, shit, I know I want to remarry. Anyway, you could there could be talk of marriage soon. And justice in reverse, uh, coupled with the high priestess, would be saying it's just, it may come out of nowhere. It really just feel like it may come out of nowhere. And justice in reverse is like it's being hidden from you, especially with the high priestess. The, the, this energy um, has been kind of being hidden from you, Divine Feminine, for some time. Like justice hasn't been served and you being made aware of the fact that you are marriage material and your twin does want to marry you. And, Maybe you even had a conversation about that briefly in the past and your divine masculine was like giving off this air that he doesn't really want it when in reality he might or he does. And so now there could be communicate I, like, like I'm don't, don't quote me on that. I don't want a bunch of people coming out talking about, Oh, I didn't get nobody proposed to me, blah, blah, blah. Like, look, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay. This is a general message. And I'm, I'm doing these week, these readings weekly, but I am not associating a time frame to them. Okay. Just throwing that out there. In the storyline, we're starting off with strength in reverse with the seven of cups. So there could be some wishful thinking. There could be some illusionary thinking like, like, um, divine feminine, you're caught up wrapped up in a lot of different options, a lot of illusion possibly, and um, you're feeling like you don't have what it takes to, to make the right choice. You could be afraid of making a certain choice about something. Um, this could also, now this is for, this is also a message for twins that are in imminent union. You divine feminine, and I know I have been experiencing this, you, there could be a lot of masculine energies coming around, taking notice of you. Maybe even trying to ask you out, like try, asking you out on dates, trying to get you to go out with them, blah, blah, blah. Really trying, really catching, you're really catching their attention right now, Divine Feminine. This even could be for twins that are in union as well. But this is more so for, but this message of strength in reverse is more so for the twins that are in imminent union. Because you've reached, you kind of reached a point where it's like, well, sh shit, do I really need to keep fighting for this? Like, when is he going to come forward? Why doesn't he come forward already? Like, we know what's going on, what is happening. And so you're kind of feeling like you don't, you may not feel like you have the strength to persevere with this situation and, and, you, and see it through to the very end. Or um, you may not want to put forth the strength and the effort to do so. Because you've got all these other options around you. And at this point, after all that you guys have been through, and maybe after the lack of communication that you may be having, because again, just because you're not communicating doesn't mean that uh, union isn't imminent. But, um, you know, you've got all these other options that are popping up around you. And it's like, well, this guy actually wants to talk to me, or this girl actually wants to talk to me. So what do I do now? And I'm not saying it, I'm not saying this to scare anybody. Like Divine Masculine, if you're watching this right now and you're getting really afraid, please don't. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just I'm giving you what the Divine Feminine is feeling right now. Yeah, let's move forward. The uh, we have the Six of Swords. 
in reverse with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So, um, <laughs> okay, this is a continued message from the beginning, from the first two cards. Um, divine Feminines, some Divine Feminines are kind of not moving forward with this path, with this journey. This is a really interesting message to be coming out for twins that are in imminent union. Like, if you're watching this video, you know what you're feeling. You know that your Divine Masculine is about to come forward. Now, this could be months, a few months from now, um, because everybody can't come into union at once and everybody's at a different spot on their path, but... But this is coming out because Union is coming. Union is almost here, guys. 1555, 555. I just saw 555 on the counter. Change is coming, guys. But you need the perseverance, I just heard. Perseverance. Um, so some Divine Feminines, see, it seems like they have kind of stopped dead in their tracks with the Six of Swords in reverse. And have... And now this has come from, this has come from detachment. Don't get me wrong, okay? And that's what the Four of Pentacles in reverse is, is, is referring to. You, you entered a moment of detachment. You kind of wised up a bit, but then you stopped moving because you kind of used that wisdom against yourself, right? You kind of like, you, you, you got this aha moment and you were in, you, you at that, in that moment of um, separation where you were really connecting with yourself. You got this aha moment. You figured a lot of shit out. And then all of a sudden you cut yourself with your own knife because your pride and your ego got in the way. You strength in reverse. Because all of a sudden there, here come all these different options and you're like, well, damn, I don't need to wait for him or her. I got all this around me. It kind of sounds like you're falling into the trap that the divine masculine was in, which would make, which would make perfect sense because we're twins. We mirror each other. We go through the same things just differently. So the message here for divine feminines who are in imminent, who feel imminent union is to maintain your strength, maintain your focus, persevere, and remain open to communication. Please make sure you are open to communicating. Because at any moment, literally at any moment, your divine masculine could show up somehow and be like, hey, can we talk? And I understand, yes, it is a waiting game. I just heard it's a waiting game. And I know, I know. And you're like, well, how? I don't want to wait forever. But check it. The universe, if you come this far on your path, you know you're doing the right thing already. So the universe is not going to keep you waiting forever. It's just like that story I told about when I got the call that the divorce was final for me. I knew it was going to happen. Okay, all of the steps had been taken. And I'm not just talking about from the lawyer's point of view. Because as far as I knew, I didn't hire the lawyer. So the lawyer could have been fucking around somewhere doing some other shit and not even completely, not even paying attention to my case. But from my end, as far as me and the universe goes, I've been taking all of the steps that they were asking me to take to get this done. So I had no other choice, nor did I really want to believe anything other than the universe was going to deliver to me what I had been working towards. That's how you need to approach this situation, Divine Feminine. If you're feeling stuck in this situation where you've got all these options and you don't know if you want to persevere with your twin, perseverance is key. Because ultimately, you are meant to be with your Divine Masculine and no one else. Now, you can. You definitely can have a relationship, a karmic relationship, a soulmate relationship, whatever, with somebody else for a certain amount of time. But ultimately, the, 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 the one being that you are meant to be with Ultimately, the one being you will always circle back to is your twin. Perseverance is key, ladies and gentlemen. Moving forward, we have the, yeah, look, the nine of wands in reverse. Perseverance, not, or, or giving up in a sense, not wanting to continue fighting with the two of swords in reverse. There is an imbalance. There is a mental imbalance here. Twos, are talks, twos talk about balance, they can't talk about choices. And what I'm picking up here is some of you, some of the divine feminines, some of you divine feminines have fallen off the bandwagon. 
in the sense that you're not doing all the things that you were doing before that helped you reach this moment to begin with. So like I'm picking up if you had, if you used to if you had a meditation practice that you just all of a sudden just stopped doing for a while. Well, if that's the case, you are noticing the difference. And I know this happened to me not too long ago. It was around the time that things blew up in my face with my twin and he cut me off and like in essence blocked me, but not really, but he kind of did. He told me not to, to contact him anymore. It was around that time that I was going through a really lot, a lot of shit. And I wasn't meditating every day. And I wasn't sleeping much because if you remember, this was um, around April 1st. If you remember, around then, the energies were like ridiculous. Like we, I went all through April exhausted because I was there was just so much that was changing. So I'm picking up that some Divine Feminines, you've kind of fallen off. And I don't exactly know why. This is mainly a message for um, for twins that are in imminent union. But if you are in union and this is resonating with you, please, please reach out and um, let me know how this is resonating. You've got to get back on the horse, Divine Feminine. And I want to say, yeah, you guys, we have a choice. We always have a choice. But it's the nature of that choice that we're not quite seeing. Because ultimately, we are meant to be with our divine masculines, and our divine masculines are meant to be with their divine feminines, okay? So your choice is either to go with the flow, fulfill your contract, and do all that, or you can choose not to and resist and feel shitty and experience shitty stuff. Because ultimately, the universe is changing. This planet is ascending to the fifth dimension, whether anybody likes it or not. So you can join us for the ride, or you can resist and have a really awful time of it. Plain and simple. Finally, for the Divine Feminine, we have the Five of Swords in reverse, though. Okay. But I feel like there's something behind that. Like you're laying down your sword, but why? Five of Wands in reverse. Interesting. It, ooh, wow. I mean, okay. I mean, changes are coming. We've got two fives here. The Five of Swords and the Five of Wands, which are like, which are like besties, to be honest with you. Like, I, especially when it comes to this twin flame journey. These five, these two fives specifically, the five of swords and the five of wands come out all the time together. And here for the divine feminine, we've got them in the same spot and reversed. So you would think, oh no, that's actually a good thing, right? Uh, kinda. Because in this situation, it's like, yeah, you're not, you're, you're, you're laying down the swords or you're laying down the self defeating um, elements, the comp, the competitiveness, the, the lose, lose situations, you're picking your battles and whatever. And, and you're, you're releasing all the five of wands energy with like the, the, all the differing opinions, both internally and externally. And, um, and you know, and, and pushing aside the peanut gallery and blah, 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 but that's good. But this is the, this is how you're you taking this with some of some divine feminines are taking this wisdom and using it against themselves because now they're using some of you are using this energy to fall off the path to maybe even start resisting which in turn to be honest is just turning this five of swords right back up because it's self-defeating that's icky be careful, Divine Feminine. Again, either you can either you can get back on. Because ultimately, ultimately, Divine Feminine, you know, you know that this connection that you have with your twin, your divine masculine, is going to bring you the Ten of Cups. You know this. You can feel it. Okay? So, all right, so the Justice card in reverse is talking about injustice in the sense that 
Um, some of you are really choosing not to do this anymore. And it's unfair to yourself. Because in, in all honesty, and if this, if you're really resonating with this, I really encourage you to watch the twin, the separation video, because the theme of that video was all about balancing masculine and feminine energy within. And if you are in, if you have been drawn to this video because you're in union or your union is imminent or you're like in beneficial communication or some shit like that, you're already. In a, in a position where you are actively balancing masculine and feminine energy, whether you're consciously aware of it or not. So really, everyone, everyone, please, I encourage you, go watch that video. Because there are a lot of really good messages in there for everybody. All right, Divine Masculine. Your overall energy, you've got the Three of Wands. So you're taking action towards manifesting a chosen path. Uh, or a path you're taking to get what you want, right? This is this is clearing the space for your ships to come in. This is doing the work to um, facilitate what you've chosen. Ooh, we've got the Eight of Swords in reverse. I like that. We've got the Knight of Swords upright. And we've got the Ten of Wands reversed. So, Divine Masculine, overall, you have really released some burdens recently. And if you haven't released them yet, you're in the process of releasing them, okay? Um, yeah. You're in the, you, you're either, and, and, and even still, like, you're, it's like you're almost, you're almost free from all of them. And you've got the Eight of Swords in reverse here, which is like you're you're not keeping yourself in any sort of mental prisons anymore. Like you, I hear, I'm hearing the song, uh, can you see clearly now the rain is gone? Like, that's how you feel right now, Divine Masculine. And you are moving swiftly, like full speed ahead, because I'm done with this shit. Get me out of here, is what I'm hearing. So Divine Feminine, listen up. Divine Masculine is doing his thing. And I really, I really feel like if you're still in the energy of, um, and I really think this is what Justice in Reverse is talking about. If you're still in this energy of he's not doing anything, he's not moving, whatever. But this is because, you, you know, things are being hidden from you with the High Priestess. Like you can't really see all of what's happening. It's kind of unfair because like I said, it's an injustice to hold this type of energy for your divine masculine just because you don't see the physical evidence. And I'm really not trying to come down on anybody, but it's, I'm hearing and I'm feeling that it's unfair. The universe is not going to leave you hanging, leave you high and dry forever. But if you're not seeing the work or you're just you're not communicating with your divine masculine, there's a, still a reason for it. You know, like you don't, the universe isn't going to reveal everything to you. Because if it were to reveal everything to you, then we would just get in the way. And that's not a masculine thing. That's not a feminine thing. That is a human thing. You know, I heard an analogy once, not too long ago, and I don't even remember where it came from. Um, maybe I read it somewhere. But it's like, you're building, you're having, you're working with contractors to build a house, right? And you have your meeting with them initially. You, you plan everything out. You got the blueprint together. And now they're in the physical phases of building it. And you either stop in every once in a while just to check progress, have a meeting um, to, to, you know, iron out a kink. Maybe some, maybe something on the blueprint needs to be changed. Something needs to be redesigned. So, you know, you go through the building process. It's not like you're completely absent through the building process, but you're not as present as you may have been during the planning play phase. Or you're one of those people that's in there every day, micromanaging, slowing things down. 
The universe can't do the work that it's asking you to do if you're constantly micromanaging it, which is why it's not going to tell you everything. We're just going to bring to you what is of importance. Hey, what's up? I need you to, I need you to re-identify this for me, or I need you to clarify this for me. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Excellent. Thank you. And off. Doing the work to bring you what you are asking for. You need to have faith and patience. So this is why I'm saying it's unfair if it's an injustice because you know the Ten of Cups is right around the corner. Even if once your Divine Masculine does come around, it, I don't, I'm not trying to say y'all are going to jump from zero to 260 like marriage tomorrow. It's still going to take some time. But you know it's coming. So you just have to have faith and a little more patience is what I literally just heard. Okay, back to you, Divine Masculine. In your storyline, we ha ha ha, the Ace of Swords. That aha moment, realizing the truth. And I also see it's not only just real, because it's one thing to realize the truth, but it's another thing to realize it and then take that sword and hold it. Ace of Swords with the Page of Wands in reverse. Um, so, to me, this is a realization of the, the uh, lack of spiritual nature that the Divine Master may have been exhibiting in the past. This could also be an aha moment with the Ace of Swords, but not wanting to... Um, not wanting to send a passionate message yet. Yet. Because the pages are about, can be about messaging, uh, messages being sent. They can also be about, um, you know, entering a new level, um, uh, embarking on a new phase. But the most, what I'm mostly getting for the collective here, for you, Divine Masculine, when it comes to the Ace of Swords and the Page of Wands in reverse, you are kind of, analyzing or you have become aware of um, spirituality in a new way. And you're kind of leaving this past of the page um, energy, you know, immature-ish, but like new to the game, really. But you're, leave, you're kind of leaving this energy behind. And it's, and it's, and I say new to the game, but for those of you that are resonating in this way, it's not like you were new to the game. You were quite seasoned in the game, but you were purposefully keeping yourself here in this page atmosphere or this page reality because it was easier and comfortable. <laughs> Next for the Divine Masculine, we have Judgment, Ascension. A lot of the Divine Masculines are really waking up. And so this is definitely for you if you are feeling that, um, you know, union is imminent. And we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. Yeah. Leveling up, guys. Leveling up all around. Ascending. And to me, what's coming across with Judgment, Upright, and the Page of Pentacles reversed is literally ascending from a three-dimensional, materialistic, egoic um, life view of life and ascending into a higher higher way a higher order a higher view of existence that's perfect that's beautiful that's beautiful 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 next we have the two of swords in reverse look at that so there's our instance of mirroring here and it's literally right under where the two of swords in reverse is for the divine feminine with the ten of swords in reverse Okay. There is still some and okay, so divine masculine, you're still you're still moving through some endings here. Um Yeah, you're moving through some endings, but there's wow, there's some swift energy moving through this. Okay. Swift energy. Now, what's coming through with the Ten of Swords in reverse here and the Two of Swords in reverse here is the Ten of Swords in reverse is like you, literally you dropping this situation like a freaking hotcake. 
Because sometimes the Ten of Swords can be a long, drawn-out uh, um, ending. But here, when it's reversed, and what it's saying it with, right now, to me right now, is like, no, no, no. No, this is moving quick. And with the Two of Swords in reverse, you're not up in your head about it. You're not confused about it. It's not like you're not refusing to see anything. You're, you're literally the exact opposite of what the Divine Feminine is feeling. Like, you're clear. You are crystal clear, and you ain't fucking around. You're, you're not trying to, to, to overanalyze this, this, this board. Like, you know what moves you got to make, and you're doing it. And you're doing it. And you're doing it with a freaking fury and a vengeance because you've got the Knight of Swords here too in your overall energy. And the Knight of Swords is reflecting what the Eight of Wands is saying for the Divine Feminine. In the, in, for the Divine Feminine, the Eight of Wands is saying, you may not see it, Divine Feminine, but things are moving very quickly right now. You probably feel it, but there's still, but it might be confusing you, Divine Feminine, because you're feeling all this movement internally, but you're not seeing anything in the physical. You may not be seeing anything in the physical. But the Divine is here to tell you, honey, shit's moving quick. Shit's moving quick and can literally pop out of nowhere for you, Divine Feminine. Finally, Divine Masculine, we have all. Oh, there's more mirroring the Ten of Cups, but this time it's in reverse for the Divine Masculine with the Emperor in reverse. All right, so what does this say? This is talking about this aha moment, this um, um, realization of lack of spiritual, I guess prowess is a term I want to use. But here... We're, see, we're seeing the Divine Masculine understanding how, um, how he wasn't standing in his power with the Emperor in reverse and how, you know, the Ten of Cups was turned, was, was, was not being received. It's like you, you thought you were being the Emperor, but you were kind of being the Emperor in reverse. And so that was giving you a twisted representation of the Ten of Cups. What else? I feel like I was saying all that and there was something else coming through and I couldn't quite grasp it. Oh, this is also, it's also kind of talking about a bit of a blockage for um, the Divine Masculine in the sense, and okay, so this is where the injustice is also coming through for the Divine Feminine. This There could be some blockages right now. But it's really just a part of the process. Um, it's not like anything. I'm not picking up that anything or anyone specifically is blocking movement. It's just that it's a part of the process. It's just part of the phase that you're in. So like if, more specifically for the Divine Masculine, many of you are really waking up and really stepping into your power. And so the Emperor in reverse and the Ten of Cups in reverse in this case is just talking about you going through this process of... of entering into your emperor state, which is then bringing forward the Ten of Cups for you, is giving you this fulfillment. Because you, Divine Masculine, especially for those of us, uh, or those of you that are in, yes, those of us that feel imminent, our uh, union to be imminent, you know for a fact, and you have known this for some time, you know that your Divine Feminine will bring you the Ten of Cups, your ultimate fulfillment, your ultimate emotional fulfillment. That one person that can give you the family like you have been always looking for and vice versa because you Divine Masculine are that person that can give the Divine Feminine that family and home life they have always been looking for. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 guys. This is really great. Okay, so next, let's get into the animal relationship car, uh, spread. Oh, I did that. That's why. Don't listen to me, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm having my own aha moments here. <laughs> okay. Let me just shuffle this up a little bit. One more. Okay. So, Spirit, please give us 
four cards. First card is the representation of the divine masculine in this relationship. For twins that are in imminent, feel imminent union coming, or feel that union is imminent, woo, and are in union already, we have Buffalo. For the divine feminine, please. There we are. Oh, I love this card. Cosmic Egg. That is gorgeous. I'll show you guys in a second. Uh, the Shadow Dynamic, please, Spirit. The Shadow Dynamic. The Shadow Dynamic, please. Whoa. Nope, that's not going to do. We may have to dig for this a little bit. The Shadow Dynamic, please, Spirit. There it is. Elk and the illuminated dynamic, please, spirit. The illuminated dynamic. This one. Rabbit. Interesting. Self fulfilling prophecies. I just heard with that. And that is part of the description of rabbit. Interesting. Okay. So for the divine masculine. We have Buffalo. Okay. Give me just a second here, guys. There's a lot of earth energy here. It's all earth, actually, except for spirit, which is the divine feminine. All right. Buffalo. Grounded yet heavenly, practical yet spiritual. I know that's right. The hooves of the mighty buffalo are grounded in the earth, yet its heart and mind rise toward heaven. The buffalo sees challenge, hardship, or a bump in the road as an opportunity for upliftment. Therefore, the buffalo does not fear death, illness, or misfortune. Its gentle eyes look to the road ahead, trusting every turn. May we all experience this elusive yet life-changing bliss from time to time. And may we allow this card to remind us that life is a precious gift. When in balance, Buffalo is trusting and pure presence. When out of balance, Buffalo is restless and lacks gratitude. To bring into balance, one must practice prayer or bhakti. So this is absolutely you, Divine Masculine, stepping into your Divine Masculine essence, your divine power, being grounded on the earth, but still reaching towards the heavens. You are opening yourself up to this right now, divine masculines. Some of you have already been open to it, but you are expanding even more now. You're reaching even further than you ever thought you ever would, to be honest, is what I'm getting. And that's, gosh, that is beautiful. Congratulations, divine masculine. I am... Very proud to be able to deliver that message to you. For the Divine Feminine, we have the Cosmic Egg. And this card, I just love the look of this card. Look at this. Look, look, look. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Oh, no. Look at that. that. Isn't that gorgeous? And that, if you can see, that ring up in the top, the symbol is like iridescent and shiny and just beautiful. I just love this deck, guys. Cosmic Egg. Completion. Harmony. The infinite within the finite. The Cosmic Egg is the final card in the journey of the animal spirit deck, and it represents the unfolding of cosmic consciousness. This state, oops, oh, it's fine. This state emerges after we have tread the path for quite some time, and through self-effort and grace, we experience self-realization. A sense of contentment and oneness spontaneously arises within us, and the veils of our, of our self-limiting beliefs are lifted. When the essence of the cosmic egg has not been activated, we may feel as if we will never, quote, get there, or that we travel alone, disconnected from others. Even if our encounter with this card is brief, appearing as a momentary glimmer or flash of interconnectedness, its potent energy stays with us. The cosmic egg is a remedy for the fragmentation of modern life. It is through the power of this card that we are reminded of the cosmic contract written at the beginning. Um, we hold on 
to life. We hold on to life and life holds on to us. The journey is incomplete. I'm sorry, the journey is complete, but it does not end. The cosmic egg and the seventh chakra. The subtle ess the essence of the cosmic egg resides at the crown chakra at the top of the head called Sahasrara. Sahasrara. Sorry. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. One of the aims of yoga and meditation practice is to channel energy from the base of the spine upward towards Sahasrara. Each of the six lower chakras plays an important role along this journey. And once the final epicenter of consciousness is activated, it is said to radiate the light of a million suns. That's just gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> okay. The shadow dynamic is elk. I opened right to it. Ain't that convenient. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> elk. Stable, resilient, headstrong, the father. The great elk represents the earth element in its masculine form. This means it provides underlying support and stability amidst life's many changes. An elk personality, whether male or female, is fully established in themselves and knows their core values. They become known and respected for acting in ways that uphold these values. Sometimes the elk's ego can become inflated, but for the most part, they make damn good fathers, mothers, lovers, and friends. The world needs more elk energy. When in balance, elk is supportive, kind, and consistent. When out of balance, elk is pretentious, high and mighty. To bring, eat in balance, to bring into balance, one must eat and drink more consciously. So as the shadow dynamic, what I'm picking up here is um, that action is being taken. Action is happening, guys. But it's, but it's, <laughs> But it's the shadow dynamic. It's it's hidden. So you can't really see it, but it's there. Okay. Finally, to round out, finish out the reading, we have rabbit. In just a second here. Just a second. I know. Where you at, rabbit? There we are. Rabbit. This is the illuminated dynamic. Afraid of everything, overwhelmed, frozen. The rabbit loves to remind his friends that someday the eagle will swoop down and eat him. He talks and talks and talks about it so loudly, in fact, dot, 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 that one day the eagle hears and thanks him for the great idea. Rabbit energy is alive when we are scared, most often about the future, and we become our own worst enemy. We spin up a dust cloud of fear and then complain to others that we are lost. Notice your thoughts and words, oh rabbit, dot, dot, dot. They shape your destiny. When in balance, rabbit is sensitive, a problem solver, and a good listener. When out of balance, rabbit over explains and talks fast. To bring into balance, one must take a day of silence. So I totally get this rabbit energy. And this is what I was talking about before, about uh, in the beginning, about, you know, noticing being like, uh-oh, uh-oh, I feel union coming. Oh, yay, union's coming. Uh, oh, my God, union's coming. Run, oh, my God, run, run, run. Like, like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's a thing. Um, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. And, and, and another thing, in, and, and the shadow dynamic being elk is the fact that, like, I it's it, this feels really strong. It's almost like, it's almost like the divine masculine is charging towards the divine feminine with all kinds of fury. And that's kind of scary. It is kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty scary. I mean, that's kind of how the divine feminine charged towards the divine masculine, you know, when we entered the initial run runner chaser phase, if you want to call it that. But now it's kind of being reciprocated in a way. Because the divine masculine is coming forward now. But this is uh, this is a little different because... The divine masculine coming forward and charging forward is like the, the final countdown. Like this, you know what I mean? This is like, like the last ditch before union. And once you have that communication, once you have that talk, once you have, once you guys, you know, do the things and then union starts, the thought of union is scary too. What's going to happen in union? What, uh, 
are we gonna are we gonna be able to do this? Are we gonna be able to stay together? Like, uh, or is one or the other gonna leave each other? Like, what what does all this mean? Don't worry about it. Don't be afraid. Just go with the flow. Have patience with yourself, with your twin, and just love each other. How about that? Plain and simple. Just love each other. It really doesn't even have to be all that complicated, guys. It really doesn't. All you have to do is just love each other. It's simpler than you think, I promise. All right, guys. So there it is. I love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you guys next week for our next conversation. Take care, everyone. Bye.